Greetings, I'm Alan Ross and welcome to my mini tutorial. Uh, this time I'm going to be talking about how to create a custom area guide for Epson 700 and 800 series scanners. First of all, why would I want to create a custom area guide? Well, the honest truth is the area guides, if I'm not using one of the scanner frames, the area guides, which actually are supposed to show you the area that is being scanned when you're doing film, um, is indicated with at least with the Epson 850 series, uh, 800 series, by this silly little plastic thing that's supposed to go at the top of the glass. It has a little window at the top so that the scanner eyeball can, can uh, check the scanner brightness of the scanner light, but the rest of it doesn't give you really any idea at all about what the actual scanning area is, and it's very specific on these scanners. It's only just over eight by 10 inches, so I want to know exactly where my scanning area is if I want to scan loose films on the glass uh, or whatever. So over here on the right, we see a plastic one that I made for my Epson 850 uh, some time ago, and it's really quite accurate. I no longer have any interest in using the one that came with the scanner. The ones that come with the 700 series scanners are, are a good deal better than this plastic thing, but even they are not very accurate. So here's how to make something that really you can count on working with. So it's really very easy. Uh, in my own case here, I had a couple of really cheap little plastic uh, rulers, which I was able to lay down on the scanner glass with each of four rulers butting into the one edge of the scanner glass uh, in uh, millimeters here. This one is bumped in down here. This one over here is bumped into the top. This one's bumped into the left side and the right side. I close the lid and hit scan or preview and scan. And so what I have here, actually this is a preview. I didn't even have to scan it. Um, on the preview window, I see that over here, my ruler disappears at seven millimeters. Well, that's how, how much room there is on this side. Over on here, it's 15 millimeters. That means there's 15 millimeters over on this side of the glass. On the top of the glass, the ruler disappears at 21 millimeters. That means my scanning area stops, starts 21 millimeters from the edge of the glass here, and on the bottom, it's 30 millimeters. So what I have to do now from this is just make notes of these, these numbers here. And I went over and I took a very cheap piece of scrap cardboard that was kicking around and cut it to exactly the same size as my scanner glass window. And then I just measured off the seven millimeters over here, the 15 millimeters over here, the 30 and the 21 up here. These are in centimeters here. Uh, and then I just took a straight edge and a box knife and cut out the window, leaving a little gap at the top for the scanner eyeball to to check the light, and there's my, my frame. How accurate is it? Well, let's take a look. I come over here, I put it in the scanner glass, close the lid, and scan, or hit preview. Actually, it tells you all you need to know. And I hit preview, and I can see a little bit of the, of the area guide up here, a little bit down here, a little bit over here. Probably was because this isn't exactly squared, it was twisted tilted a little bit in the window, but if I want to be really, really picky, I can come in and I can just trim a little bit off of the areas here, and I could hit this again, and I won't see any indication here. This is going to tell me exactly what area I need, and so here's a couple of ways of working with one of these area guides is if I want to do multiple uh, sheets of film or roll film or whatever, I can just lay them out inside the opening of the area guide and just put a piece of glass over the top. Or if I want to do one sheet of film or something with no glass without any extra dust catching and so on. In this case, I took a little piece of two-ply uh, rag board scrap and cut a window just big enough for the negative. And I took little strips of clear mylar and taped them down over the corners here so that those will hold the corners of the films flat and it can be anywhere in this window. Close the lid and scan it and you will see exactly your entire negative without any extra, uh, any extra light or whatever. And so 
That's all you need to know. I hope this helped. It's real easy.